speak. I know the vein in which I speak. I am telling you guys, I know the vein in which I speak. I know the vein in which I speak today. God is showing me wounds. It is so many wounds in the earth, God said. There are so many wounds in the earth, God said. He said, there are so many wounds in the earth. And he said, it is my job as a shepherd to heal the wounds. I know the vein in which I speak. And I don't care if the enemy gets mad at me. He said, I know the vein in which you speak, Jamila. And I know that the enemy is mad at me right now. But I don't care. God said to tell you, I am tending to my sheep. You are that sheep. He said, I am tending to my sheep. He said, I'm tending to the wounds. I'm tending to the scars. I'm tending to the betrayal. I'm tending to the heartbreak. I'm tending to being misled and misguided. God bless you, Lewis. I am tending to the sheep and I don't care how many people get mad at me right now. I promise you, God said, I am tending to the sheep. You are the wounded sheep. You are the ones that were hurt because you trusted a voice. You are the ones that is hurt because you trusted people. And sheep trust. Sheep have to trust because they have to be led. They have to be guided. You even said, I'm going to ask him, what do I do with the hardest decisions that I've got to make in my life? And you were betrayed by the wound of a friend. You were betrayed by a voice that you trusted. You were betrayed by a shepherd. And that is why he's showing me all these wounded sheep. <laughs> you are hurt. As I was speaking to my husband, I said, you know, if, if, if we were not hurt, we would not be here. If we were not hurt, we would not be here. And so now it is God's job to gather the hurt sheep, gather the lost sheep, gather the people who have wounds of a friend, gather the people that have scars, gather the people who had a friendship and found out that they were betrayed because you were a wolf in sheep's clothing. He said, I've got to gather. You've got parents that were hurt even by the scars of a child. You are the wounded sheep that God is showing me. He said, I got to gather them. And I know the vein in which I speak. And I don't care if this is the price I've got to pay this morning because God said to tell them that I am the sheep and I'm gathering them. And whether you underneath good leadership or not, if you have a wound, God said to tell you, I'm tending to the sheep. He said, it is time for people to understand that the shepherd is watching. The shepherd is watching. The shepherd is watching. He said, the shepherd is watching. He said, and I am going to heal the wounds. I am tending to my sheep. He cares that you don't have. He cares that you've been misdiagnosed. He cares that you've got problem after problem. He cares about the cutter. He cares about the addiction. He cares about the betrayal. He cares that you got wounds from a friend. He said, and I am tending to my sheep. See, when you are hurt and you think that God doesn't care about your pain, the enemy wins. The enemy wins. And he said, because I cannot allow the wolves to hurt them any longer. He said, I've got to tend to their wounds and make them strong so that they will not be fooled again. Shepherds have a high spirit of discernment. But he said, what I'm going to do to the wounded sheep, I'm going to gather them and I'm going to mend every broken place. And I'm going to push them back into the fold, not just under good leadership, but their decision making will never have them wounded again. He said to go back and tell them, I'm tending to the pain. I'm tending to the sheep. I know it hurts, but God said, go back and tell them I'm tending to the sheep. Tender is a word derived from tenderness. It simply means that I'm taking a gentle approach 
during their pain. And God says, what I'm doing is I'm taking a gentle approach to heal their pain. That means when he takes the gentle approach, he's going to send people who really that you don't even know. But for a season, they're going to come to you gently because they've got to approach you because you're, so oh God, you're at a situation when you're like, I'm not going to let anybody near me. So he says, what I've got to do, he says, I've got to have a gentle approach to get close enough to heal your pain because the hurt allows you to push people away. Somebody hurt you. I get it. But God said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gentleness to get close enough to you this time to heal you. See, pain makes you paranoid. Mm. Pain allows you to push. Pain was your protection now. And I'm not letting nobody near me. I don't trust leadership. I don't trust nobody. I don't trust. After that, I don't trust nobody. And most of you, because you've got hurt by a situation, you said, I ain't going to love again. But God said, no, I'm tending to the sheep. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to let somebody get so close to you. And it's not going to be a wolf. You're going to recognize them because they're going to be tender. Tender is driven from tenderness, tendering, tendering to the sheep. That means that gently I'm going to handle you. And God said, in this season, I'm going to allow people to handle you because of the hurt. He said, I'm going to allow them to handle you differently. And that is where you know it is me because tenderly he's going to tend to you. Tenderly she's going to tend to you. Tenderly, gently, because I am the gentle shepherd. And God said, because of your pain, gently. I've got to allow people to tend to you. And he said, it's going to be so gentle until you're going to know it's me. See, the pain of the push hinders you from moving forward. And so you said, I'm not going to handle myself. No, you ain't got to worry about how people handle you. Because God said, the fruit is going to bear witness and tenderly. How are they going to handle you? People who hurt you cannot handle you. People who hurt you, they don't have it in them to handle you because they lack gentleness. And God said, he said, in order for me to gently tend to them, tenderness and mercy has to be given. If you don't understand the words that is coming out of my mouth and how angry the enemy is, then I'm giving you this message from the most high. Shame on you. That's okay. Hurt doesn't allow you to receive my words anyway. God said gentleness, gentleness. See, the pain that God has allowed us to endure is so it can make you strong enough and prepare you to deal with life. But God said in this season, gentleness. Your pain, God said, I see it. 2,000 people under the sound of my voice, God said, the pain I see but the gentleness is going to repair. And God said to tell you, the gentleness, he said, is what is going to be presented to you because people have mishandled you and taken you for granted. See, I was hurt. Let me be transparent before I go. I was hurt very bad. My husband was hurt very bad. But how was I able to recognize him? After going through being abused, after going through used and manipulated, going through 2,000 people under the sound of my voice, how was I able to re recognize someone through the eyes of pain? Because God said, I'm going to send someone gentle. And God said, I am going to tend to the brokenness by repairing it with gentleness. Gentleness is going to put your laughter back. Gentleness is going to heal your pain. Gentleness is going to help you. But gentleness understands the sacrifice. Because gently the sheep found itself put in a position to allow itself to get caught in the ram's bush. And becomes the sacrificial lamb for a man named Abraham. He gently had to find itself straying away. For a purpose. And God says, I'm going to allow gentleness to find you just at the nick of time when you need it most. Because sheep gently can be guided. 
pay attention in this season because God said it is the gentleness that he is going to use to mend the pain of hurt and being abused. And God is saying in this season, he said the gentleness is what he's going to use. And God said to tell you, he is tending to his sheep. Don't you give up because that ram in the thicket is going to find you and gently be aware of its assignment to get you to a place of understanding that God heard you. Don't believe me? Ask Abraham. I am honored to be the mouthpiece of God. And I take my assignment very seriously. The Holy Spirit said to tell you he is tending to your problem gently. And because of your pain you've pushed, gently they shall find you. And the ram in the thicket with two feet is going to meet your need. Because God said, I've got to tend to the wounds of the sheep. I am honored to serve you, God.